find the equation of the circle with center 0, 0 and radius length 7. So this is the equation of a circle with a center 0, 0. So we can only use this formula if we have a center of 0, 0. So our equation formula is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where the r represents the radius. So we've been told that the radius was 7, so we're given that r is equal to 7. So we swap the r for 7, and it's 7 squared, so we get 49. So the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to 49. C is a circle with a center 0, 0 and contains the point 5, 12. So 5, 12 is on the circumference of the circle. Part 1, draw the circle. Part 2, find or the radius length of the circle. Part 3, find the equation of the circle. So part 1, draw the circle C. On graph paper, draw the X and Y axes with a clearly marked common scale. This is really important that we have a common scale. So that means the same numbers on the x-axis as is on the y-axis. So for example, as you can see in this diagram, we're going up in twos on the x-axis. So we must also go up in twos on the y-axis. If we'd gone up in ones on the x-axis, we must also go up in ones on the y-axis and so on. So very, very, very important that we have a common scale. Next, we plot the point 5, 12. So we go to 5 on the x-axis, which is here, and 12 on the y-axis, which is here, and we plot the point. So 5, 12. So this is the point 5, 12, and we plot the point. And then with the compass point at 0, 0, so we put our compass point at 0, 0, which is the origin. And then we put our pencil point at 512, which is here. We then draw the circle. So our compass point at 512, and we rotate our compass all the way around until we get back to the original point. And a good way to check if you have drawn your circle properly is to take a ruler and measure the distance from the origin to the point 512 and check is it the same distance on the other side from the origin. So the distance should be the exact same on the other side. So for example if you were to draw in another radius which would be end up forming a diameter which you don't have to do because you weren't asked to do it but if you were to draw in another radius forming a diameter they should be the exact same length and both touching off the edge of the circle. Part 2, find OR, the radius length of C. So to find OR, we get the distance from the centre, 0, 0, to a point on the circle, 5, 12. So we're going to use our distance or our length formula, which is square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So this is the distance formula given it to us in the formula book. So next we have to label our points. x1, y1, x2, y2. And then we're going to substitute these into our distance formula. So we bring down the square root and the bracket and swap x2 for 5. Bring down the minus. Swap x1 for 0. Bring down the bracket and the squared. Bring down the plus and the bracket. Swap the y2 for 12. Bring down the minus and swap the y1 for 0. Close the bracket and squared. So then 5 minus 0 is 5, 12 minus 0 is 12, 5 squared is 25, 12 squared is 144. 25 plus 144 is 169, and the square root of 169 is 13, so the radius is 13. Part 3, find the equation of C. So since this circle has a centre of 0, 0, we can use this formula, which is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. 
So we found the radius to be 13 in part 2. So what we have to do is swap R squared for 13 squared, and 13 squared is 169. Therefore, x squared plus y squared equals 169 is the equation of C, the circle. The equation of the circle is 9x squared plus 9y squared equals 100. Part 1, find the centre of S, so find the centre of the circle. And part 2, find the radius length of S, so find the radius of our circle. Okay, so let's start off by finding the centre of our circle. So we're going to divide both sides of the equation of S by 9. So we're going to divide all of this by 9, so that we can get the x squared and the y squared on its own. So 9x squared divided by 9 is going to be x squared, 9y squared divided by 9 is going to be y squared, and 100 divided by 9 is going to be 100 over 9. So the equation is now in the familiar x squared plus y squared equals r squared form. So it's in the format that we're used to. Therefore, the center of s is 0, 0. So if you're ever given a, an equation of a circle and asked to find the center, the first thing you want to do is see, can you divide across by the same number? So basically, can you get x squared and y squared on its own? And if you can do that, getting x squared and y squared on its own, and the r squared on the other side, then you know that the centre is 0, 0. And in the next video, we'll be having a look at circles that have a centre that is not 0, 0, and they will not be in this format. So part 2, find the radius length of s, so find the radius of the circle. So we have r squared to be 100 over 9, so we have r squared equals 100 over 9. Therefore, r is going to be equal to the square root of 100 over 9 because the r squared comes over the equal sign and becomes square root. And the square root of 100 is 10 and the square root of 9 is 3. So r is going to be 10 over 3. Now this part here that says as r is greater than 0, usually when a squared comes over the equal sign and becomes a square root, we usually put a plus minus in front of the square root because we usually don't know if it's a positive or a negative because anything squared will end up giving us a positive. However, we know that this cannot be negative because we couldn't have a negative length. We couldn't have a negative radius. That doesn't make any sense. So R is going to be greater than zero. So the radius is 10 over 3.